What's up guys? In this episode, we're gonna go through uh, me building out the headlights for Laboomin. We're gonna be putting uh, HIDs in them, uh, specifically by Xenon headlights uh, with projector shrouds and projector lenses. We're gonna put some angel eyes on them and everything. It's gonna look super cool, super modern on a really old car, so uh, let's go check it out. First thing that I did after removing the headlights from the car was to strip off and take off any of the extra pieces of plastic uh, that I could put back on later, just in case they got too hot and they bent or melted. <clears throat> so I preheated the oven to 220 and put the lights in for five minutes. Uh, and because these are so old, it didn't work, so I tried it for another five minutes, and that didn't work either. So obviously, I had to get out the, the razor and the heat gun to be able to kind of pry open and cut through a lot of that uh, glue that was holding it, because it was so old that the heat didn't even melt it. Uh, it. It just stayed there. So I had I had some trouble. My little cat. So I'm using the heat gun to kind of heat up the edges and pry it open slowly. I'm being very careful not to scratch the lens. Uh, even though I'm going to be 3D printing a new lens. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter as far as the scratches because we're going to just fill it in and create a new lens altogether. Ah, finally got it. But I wanted to be, make sure that I'm not going to break anything so I'm slowly checking each of the sides to make sure that nothing is caught that's going to rip off or break any of the edges so I'm still being very careful. Alright, looks good. And then I try to pry the side blinker off, and I break it. But again, it's okay. I keep that piece, and uh, I'm gonna super glue it together, and we're going to 3D scan it and recreate these uh, these lenses. This is the projector shroud. Inside the projector lenses, kind of mini, but these are the only ones that will really fit inside here because it's so, so small. So it's going to be awesome. Two and five eighths. So two five eighths. Basically a little bit above this part here. And what I'm doing right here is just basically getting it aligned and getting it all straight which can be kind of difficult at an angle, but I'm just using this as a guide to get it perfect. And I don't like marking it until I cut it, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, 
going to be about the same thing on this side. So now that we got it, let's go ahead and cut this bad boy. You won't see all of this nasty black uh, black stuff. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. Nice. But for the most part, go right in there. Boom. Like so. So for these, you want to first of all make sure that it fits inside of the housing and the, uh, the ballast. And number two, these are bi-xenon uh, compatible. So this right here is a power and a ground for the little spring. Let's see if get in there. When this thing flips up, it, it lets more light in. So this is regular beam, low beam, and then when you flip that up, it lets the high beam come in. And so you wanna make sure that this is flipped the right way and it's not upside down because then it's gonna be in permanent, permanent high beam and then when you turn on the high beam, it's gonna be a low beam. All right, so now I'm gonna take off. Headlight. And so for me, I have these uh, 9006 and 9005 uh, converters, and uh, we don't want these anymore. Like so. And carefully put this inside first. So, this one doesn't seem to go all the way through, so you have two options. You could either cut off this part with plastic and then screw that on or just don't put on the thread so I'm deciding to not put on the thread and we'll just put it on like this Check the bulb. And then this will go right there. Just like that. And then eventually I'll screw it in on the other side, put some epoxy on the bottom and the top to make it flush. And, uh, and that's that.
So we basically got the, uh, the foundation laid out. I'm going to uh, spray paint these shrouds so there's no black. This is basically what I wanted to get done. Um, that's pretty cool. Just finished doing the projector and HIDs for the booming. 